Good morning, Year Two and Four. Um, just a quick video to say how amazing you've been this week. First week back, I know sometimes after half term, it can be quite tricky to get back into gear and back into the routine of things. But I think you've done amazing. Some fantastic work coming in, um, and looking on the stream, it seems everyone's really enjoying the new humanities lessons that Mrs Johnson's brought along. I thought they were fab. The um, Padlet with the Atlas is on. If you haven't seen it, make sure you get onto there. It's brilliant. The amount of facts on there is, is mind-blowing, and I've definitely learnt a lot about all the different locations around the world that you've been posting about. So that was uh, one of my highlights of the week. Um, another highlight of my week was the um, new book that we're looking at in English. I really having fun reading it and I've just recorded next week's um, chapters as well and they're, they're really really funny. Um, next week nothing major happens in the plot really but we just get to know the bear a bit more and the boy a bit more and they've got such nice chemistry and um, personalities that it's quite quite nice um, reading next week. So things that um, we've done this week, I tried out a couple of the Google Meets. This is where I post the link on the class stream during one of our lessons in case you want to pop along and come and have a chat to me. A few people have done that and said that they found it really helpful. Um, I know Arta popped on and I was able to go through um, some of his work with him and just show him where he hadn't quite finished something. Casey popped on and said she was struggling with one of the questions so I was able to answer that um, and show her the, the MathSpot website that we've been using. So really good, um, seems really good use on there. So next week I'll post a few more of those so keep an eye out for them. What I usually do is I'll post them about half an hour into the lesson so you've had a chance to go and have a go at it. Um, but also, so then if you get stuck you can pop in and drop a, me uh, drop a question in there. The idea is that I'm there on camera um, with my microphone on, you can just dro you can drop in and you can either use your camera or your microphone or you can use a chat function and the idea is that you just drop in, ask a question about the learning that day um, and then drop out again and go and get on with your work. Um, it seemed to work really well. It was quite nice being able to help people straight away without having to go through the work and stream and messaging and not knowing if you've picked it up or not. So that was um, something that was quite successful uh, this week. Um, and I wanted to take this opportunity just to show you this um, Friday catch up that you're on at the moment. Um, and to show you, hopefully you've watched the video before this to see how all the checklists work. Um, that's just to help you organise your week and make sure you're not missing anything by mistake. Um, but there's also quite a few activities down here that are like the colouring in and the mindful breathing that I just think are really useful just to have if you've got a spare half an hour just to chill out, just to rest and relax and just to have a go at them. Um, and I feel quite guilty this week for not sharing my plants with you. Um, especially if they've been growing amazingly well. Do you remember right back at the start of all of this lockdown, I shared with you a tomato plant. Um, one that I, I talked about pinching the sides out. Now, you might not believe it, but this is it here. So, it got so big, I had to replant it. So, I planted it in this old copper pot I had lying around so I didn't have enough pots to plant things up so I drilled some holes in the bottom planted it up into this like antique copper, copper pot I really quite like it in there and as you can see it's it's getting huge now it's massive it's got these gorgeous um, yellow flowers on as well and I've been watching all the little pollinators going in and out of there but more excitingly what it's got on I don't know whether you can see but here is my very first tomato um, there and it's looking around it's got actually a couple more as well so I'm really excited all that patience and that hard work and that care 
is paying off. Now I've got about 15 of these plants. This is the biggest one, the one I'm most proud of at the moment. But there is about 15, so and they're all starting to flower, all starting to get tomatoes on, so I'm really, really excited. Um, it'll be a few more weeks until they're ready, but hopefully I'll be plucking fresh tomatoes for my lunch off here. Um, any tips about turning them red, let me know. Your parents might have some tips there as well. Um, I've heard things like lots of tomato feed um, and I've heard things about banana skins in the soil. I don't know, maybe someone else knows something, um, something uh, uh, that can help with that. Now, this is impressive. I know I'm saying that myself and that's quite big headed, but I know this is pretty impressive. And I know you're going to be sat there going, whoa, that is awesome. Miss Harrison is a super gardener, I know. But when you see my next plant, it is going to blow your socks off. Let me just put this one back. I need the room, I need the space because it's so big. Now, do you remember how I showed you the courgette plants and I told you how it was a special variety of courgette and they're going to give spherical um, courgettes. And it was, uh, I think I showed it you as a, a tiny little plant that I'd put, popped in a few weeks before. <laughs> wow. Hold on to your hats, put your seatbelt on because this is going to blow your socks off. Look at this! This is that same courgette plant. Look at the leaves, they are bigger than my face. Bigger than my face the leaves are. Um, it's got these amazing massive flowers on that have clo closed now for the for the evening. Well, they have massive flowers um, and I, I might have to get you a bit closer. It's an aerial view. Can you see just here? That is the courgette. That's what, uh, it's got to wait a little bit more, but that is what I'm going to be able to take off and eat. And there are one, two three four five six about eight about eight courgettes on this one plant i can't get to the camera it's so big there's about eight courgettes just on this one plant and i've got loads of them <laughs> i'm going to be eating courgettes for days now in the cooking club i've posted a really good recipe for courgettes so go and have a go at that one as well but if anyone else knows any other recipes. I know Easy Girl sent me one as well. But if anyone knows any other recipes for courgettes, I'm going to need them because I'm going to have thousands of them, I think. I'm going to actually put it away because it's too big. So, my garden's doing amazing. I'm interested in how your garden's doing as well. I know loads of you have been growing things. My next video I might show you my runner beans, which they're growing massive as well. I don't know what is in the water in Ashley, but something is making everything grow enormous. Maybe it's because my name's Jack. Maybe they're magic beans. Jack and the Beanstalk. I don't know. But I am super chuffed with them. Um, but let me know how your garden's going. Post a picture, post a comment, post a video if you want to. Um, but, but let's go back to the main message well done for this week you've been fantastic and i am really proud of you all have a great weekend and i see you on monday